The razors were out today and a lot of the dusters shaved off. Of course, it's part of Movember, which raises funds and awareness for men's health issues like prostate cancer. But today I felt was the perfect day to talk to some legendary owners of some mustaches from years past. You have arguably the greatest duster in all time. <laughs> Lanny's probably the best. He's getting gray now, though. Our Uncle Al has a dirty stash like that. It's yeah. awesome. He's great. When I travel with him and I'm doing Scotiabank events with him, he always seems to scare the kids a little bit with his mustache. He wants the kids to touch it, and then he goes rah, rah, like that. Secondly? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know. With a stash like that, you really got to play good football. That's a little bit new school, Duster. Yeah. Love the, it's kind of a sick mustache. I love Austin's. That one reminds me of, like, back in the day when somebody was just starting to grow their Duster. Matthew's fan. Uh, obviously, he's going to have to get it to come in a little better, but he's young. It's going to fill out. He's got about 15 years of maturing to do to catch up to us. I honestly feel like I could get a better one. Well, that just shows that he's still young. <laughs> There's still uh, a lot more experience. Uh, that's an inexperienced mustache. <laughs> oh, creeper. Yeah. yeah. I don't Bir know what it is. Birch is good for <laughs> sure. I think because it's like the flow and it matches and everything kind of goes together. So, yeah, he worked it out pretty good and he rocked it pretty good back then. I will say he's got some dreamy eyes in that picture. <laughs> oh, and now, that's the pencil. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> November says it has helped fund more than 1,200 men's health programs around the world.